Well, welcome to Gasification 101. Oh, in 1990, Don and I became the first people pressing hemp seed oil in the United States since 1937. From all of what Jack was saying, I thought lots of people were already doing it. Turned out we were pioneers. The hemp is grown primarily for the nutritious seed as is the flax seed. And I, in the past, considered flax a competitor to hemp, but the both of them have an incredibly similar history. The energy in the hemp herds is about 8,000 BTUs per pound on a moisture and ash-free basis. The gasification equipment does pyrolysis followed by gasification. Pyrolysis is where the plant material is heated to turn it into charcoal. And about half of the energy is in the solid charcoal at the end of pyrolysis. And the other half is in the gases and the tars that burn off in the making of the charcoal. So my gasification technology takes those tars, which would gum up an engine, and it turns them into a tar-free gas, which can be readily cleaned up and run an engine. We can take wood, we can take the charcoal as a solid before it's gasified. You put it in the soil, and it makes biochar, and wood will rot. And if we don't do anything with wood or hemp herds or plant materials, the soil organisms will burn them into CO2 and water vapor, just as if we had used them and burned them ourselves. But if we can do work with our gasifier that prevents the use of petroleum fossil fuels, we can have a major benefit on the climate because the energy that's spewed out by a hundred gallons of gasoline is one full ton of CO2 greenhouse gas is spewed out for each hundred gallons of gasoline. If you want to know what your, you know, your carbon footprint is, look at it in terms of how many gallons you burn. That's a big part of it. 